What's up everyone? This is Lauren and Chris with the fifth installment of Lighthouse. In this episode, we'll be discussing one of the most challenging times to shoot, high noon. Let's jump in. High noon refers to the sun at its highest point in the sky. It's harsh, it's bright, and it's very unflattering. But even wide out in the open, you still have options. It's unlikely the sun will ever be perfectly overhead, and with your light source at a slight angle, you can still cast the important features of your subject in shade. Pro tip, rotate your subject until you find this angle, and try to keep heads angled slightly downward. If you're not restricted to an open area, find shade. We luckily had a small grove nearby and took advantage. Without a thick canopy, we still had plenty of light spilling in, but this dappled light can provide a gorgeous and dreamy effect. So don't shy away from it during your next shoot. There are lots of creative opportunities to be had. From here, a lot of the same principles we've discussed in earlier videos apply. Using ambient reflective light as a key can help shape your subject and highlight facial features. In this particular shot, we used a brighter area of the grove to help illuminate our subject. The two trees were a great way to bring in depth and texture, along with a slight shadow hitting the right side of her face, helping with shape. For the rest of our shoot, we had a bit of luck when a few clouds rolled in, giving us softer light. This is usually more ideal when shooting at this time of day. However, the lighting was flat under the canopy compared to earlier, and we were losing the light in her eyes. So, time to move on to a more open area. Since the sun was still a bit harsh, shooting out in the open wasn't an option. We spotted this beautiful covered rose garden which would provide just enough shade to dampen harsh shadows yet give us smooth even lighting for our subject. You can see that we regained the beautiful light in our eyes and were able to move freely and explore the garden. In all honesty, we don't recommend photographing at this time of day if you have any control over it. But alas, we don't always have that option. This has been Lauren and Chris, signing off, and we'll see you in the next one.